Yes. Shalom friends, welcome to part 4 on our series on how to enable Internet Explorer mode for domain gen computers using Active Directory. So the next step will be to create and configure the group policy to push the edge policies to your client machines. You can do this in two ways. Once you create your GPO, you link it to an existing computer organization or unit or you create a computer or you move your computers there then link the created GPO to it. But first before we create a group policy object, we need to generate our site list XML file. So what I recommend is that you generate this XML file from your client machine then transfer it to a network share within your organization where all your computers in your organization can be able to read from. So the format for the network share will look like this with an extension of the file itself. So to generate this XML file we need a tool named Enterprise Mode Site List Manager Schema version 2. It's developed by Microsoft so I'll rush to my Windows 10 client and show you how you can generate this XML file. Okay, load your browser and then you search for the app. It is Enterprise Mod Site List Manager version 2. This one. scroll down you download it and install it to your client machine I had already downloaded and installed it so I'll just run it so this is how it looks like Already, as you can see from my current site list XML file that I had created for testing, I just tested two uh, search engines that is Bing and Google. So, for your case, this URL should be now your intranet site that you are solely running using Internet Explorer browser. So, you need to click add. And then now you type the URL of your intranet site. And then you leave open in Internet Explorer 11, that is IE 11, the way it is. And the compatibility mode is the most important thing. You need first to identify the compatibility mode of your intranet site before you select it here. To do that, load your Internet Explorer browser. And then you load your site so I'll just go with Google for testing once your site loads up on the top right corner there is a gear icon the tools icon select it and then open F12 developer tools From here navigate to emulation tab and then under mode as you can see we have something called document mode so you can verify your site uh, document mode the one that is supported so as you can see Google uh, supports document 11 the default so if you have a Java application it will have a different uh, document mode and then you proceed to your enterprise mode site list application and choose the correct document mode that you have just verified for your site so for this case Google it's document 11 so I'll just select that and then add Google 
dot com but because I had already created Google once I save it will be retained as you can see nothing has happened since I already have it so you can add as many sites as you want to this uh, file once you are done adding your sites you can click file and then save to XML and save it somewhere within your client machine as you can see mine I've just created a folder named the edge on the Windows C drive and then now you transfer that file to your network share once you have your file in your network share in Active Directory or in your file server we can proceed now on creating the group policy object I load server manager then head over to group policy object management console that is my group policy management console and as you can see this is my custom or you I created and then I had already created the group policy object to push the edge ie mod policies so the name is edge ie mod rollout so to create yours you can right click your OU and then create a GPO in this domain and link it here so I won't create it since I have it so I just edit it to edit right click it then edit then policies expand policies then expand administrative templates then double click Microsoft Edge folder the first one it will open all the policies you can select settings to arrange in alphabetical order scroll down and look for configure Internet Explorer integration double click the policy and then enable on the drop down menu select internet explorer mode and then you apply and ok the web path to the xml file double click configure the enterprise mode site list and then you enable and then under configure the enterprise mode site list path copy the path that has your xml file this will be the network share web path where the file is stored the format should look like this so you copy it and then you set and you apply then okay once that is done you have successfully enabled Internet Explorer mode for your organization and as well to allow edge now to load your legacy sites we can head over to the next step to to test the configurations that you have just deployed but first before we go and test open your command prompt from the Active Directory
and then you type gp update to update your group policy Now we can test the policies from the client machine. That will be the next step. Thank you guys.